Okay, hello and good morning everyone. Uh, welcome to JFD Traders Espresso with me, Darius Nolachowskis. Today is the 7th of April uh, 2020, so yep, welcome everyone. Welcome to this um, Tuesday's morning session where we're going to have a quick look at the markets, a few of the charts, um, the usual stuff. Uh, but before we do that, as always, let's quickly have a read through our risk disclaimer. So. The content we produce does not constitute investment advice or investment recommendation, should not be considered as such, and does not in any way constitute an invitation to acquire any financial instrument or product. As always, a few seconds for you to read the rest and we can continue. Okay, so and now then, um, also just before we jump into the charts, a uh, quick mentioning of our JVD YouTube channel to which you can always subscribe to in order not to miss any of our upcoming videos. And of course, our JVD Bank website and specifically our JVD research page, which we update on a daily basis. So yeah, feel free to visit us here on jvdbank.com and click on the research tab right there. So um, <clears throat> now then, uh, let's just have a quick look what's happening here. Um, I think this is the updated number here. So basically the number has risen. However, uh, there are reports that the, um, the, the there are still, I mean, there are a little bit less cases now recorded. So uh, basically a bit of positivity here in all this madness. Um, and the number of official number is uh, 1,000, well, 1,347,000, 1, 1, well, roughly. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's the death, death, death toll continues to rise. However, the total amount of uh, recovered also continues to rise as well. So that's a good positive sign. Um, now then, uh, jumping into the markets. Now, the markets had a nice positive reaction yesterday. The indices closed in the positive zone. Um, and uh, I've talked about this one here, the German DAX, and what I was saying that if we get a nice daily close above that psychological 10,000 zone, which we got, then there is a good possibility for this one to drift higher. Now, looking at the cash index right now, at this point in time, uh, we can see that the um, that the price is around 10,000, and uh, let me just quickly double check, 10,170 zone. So basically, we're somewhere around here. Um, so that's a good indication. So, yep, we had that positive close uh, and the close above the uh, 10,000 zone. Now the big question here is can this continue traveling further north? Um, the next little obstacle on the way could be this 10,280 uh, zone. And let me just show you what that is. That's basically the lowest point of uh, 2018. If that uh, gets overcome easily, then yep, <clears throat> the next potential target is around that uh, psychological 11,000 zone or slightly below that. Oh, sorry, slightly above that uh, 11,032 zone. So keep your eyes on this one. These are going to be our main targets right now. Uh, we're not going to drag this one too much to the upside. Uh, first, let's uh, let's aim for these and see how it how it performs around here. Because don't get me wrong, that overall um, this move higher is still seen as a uh, could be seen as part of a a larger correction before another leg of selling, guys. So that's why I'd be very careful. Uh, now then, uh, FTSE 100, so uh, similar story here, closed nicely in the positive zone yesterday. Um, and uh, here the picture is a little bit less positive. However, um, if the indices continue to rise, I mean, uh, this one would would travel uh, higher as well. Um, now we have ourselves a somewhat of a potential uh, flag here, um, or I would say even a pennant. Um, so. Yep, guys, keep your eyes on this one. Of course, this is this could be also seen as a as a bullish uh, pattern. However, in order to aim for uh, for higher levels, we would like to see to get a little bit more comfortable with higher levels. We would like to see a push above the 5,815, zone here, which is marked by the high of the 26th of March. Um, in terms of the downside, a drop below the 5,352 zone. That's what we're we're looking for in order to aim for the downside for now. I would say we're a little bit stuck here uh, in neutral territory. Um, although, yep, keep your eyes on other indices. I mean, other indices might drag this one higher as well. So, uh, but um, yeah, there is uh, 
still in order for us to get comfortable on this one with the upside we need to see a push above the 5,800 uh, 5, and 15, 16 territory um, gold now I talked about this one yesterday and basically I uh, was telling you guys to keep a close eye on this barrier the 1645 uh, so beautiful break here man beautiful close of a daily candle above this territory and yes um, the the commodity drifted a little bit higher this morning almost tested the 1680 zone and uh, reversed now back down it's a cor little bit cor correcting a little bit lower um, now we will continue targeting the upside here especially if it continues to balance above the 1645 territory here because now this barrier will become as a nice area of support or should say could become as a nice area of support um, from which if let's say if, if the commodity drifts lower a little bit tests this fails to drop lower or let's say continues to trade above this then yep we could see a nice rebound and a push to the upside again so uh, that's why keep your eyes on this one uh, keep your eyes on the 1680 territory of course if that gets broken then the next uh, pit stop for us could be that highest point of March at around 1703 um, in terms of the downside now here uh, given that we have managed to move a little bit higher here um, we'll keep an eye on this level the 1645 if we get a daily close below this then yes we will aim for a bit of a correction here to the downside towards this up side support line taken from the low of around 21st of May of last year so that's why uh, for now um, yes uh, it is uh, it is more positive than negative however if it starts dropping and closes the daily candle below the 1645 zone then yep uh, consider that uh, that not all is good here in the bull block and uh, we could see this one drifting a little bit uh, to the uh, well in the, in this in the southern direction um, ethereum now yesterday the cryptos had a fantastic move um, the uh, Ethereum is probably one of the best ones. Um, and uh, I, yesterday I talked about Bitcoin that we should be remain careful. But as you can see, the crypto here in the crypto world uh, pushed higher and uh, moved above uh, for example ethereum here moved above its key resistance barrier around the 155 zone uh, which is all uh, which is the high uh, the low of the 24th of january and near the high of the 20th of march not far from there um, it drifted higher it tested the 100 ema here on the uh, on the daily chart still has a bit of room here for some upside because uh, don't forget that overall we are still below this downside line taken from the high of the 19th of February and uh, if we get a drift uh, if we get a drift higher here but if it if the price fails to move above this downside line then we could see another round of selling because also keep your eyes on uh, this upside line here uh, and uh, this could in a way um, could in a way drift lower if if we get a break of this upside line. However, for now uh, we're stuck in this in this kind of uh, tricky situation here. Yes, on one hand we are pushing higher, but on the other hand we're still below this downside line taken from the high of the 19th of February. Um, so that's why for now keep your eyes on this one. Uh, keep your eyes on on this line. Of course, yes, from the sh very very short term perspective we could see a bit of a push higher again, maybe towards this area around here around the 178 a 79 zone which also coincides with the 200 EMA here on the daily chart or a bit higher we could test this downside line so for now uh, keep your eyes on this one if we get a hold up somewhere here then we could see another round of selling but only up until this upside line so uh, in other words we need to see uh, the um, we need to see a break through one of these lines here before we could get comfortable with a further directional move so keep your eyes on that one guys now then uh, uh, Australian dollar against the US dollar so this uh, this morning we got some news from the RBA so the Royal Reserve Bank of uh, Australia um, and uh, now basically we the interest rate uh, the, they kept the interest rate the same at 0 0.25 uh, plus 0 0.25 of course um, so a bit of positivity here in uh, in in AUD USD AUD is trying to make its way higher however look at, as you can see by this big picture here um, the pair managed to reverse from this key area of of, of support uh, well of support however as you can see it drifted below this this level here the 0 0.6009 I talked about this this level previously 
that's basically the uh, the lowest point of 2008 or is it nine um, 2008 basically so that was so you can see that the the pair uh, kind of tested that area um, rebounded from it and then now it's trying to make its way higher however it's getting a hold up near the 21 uh, 21 EMA here on the daily chart so in a way for us to can get a little bit more comfortable with higher levels we need to see a push above the 0.6214 uh, zone uh, and then we could aim for further uh, upside uh, but again, further upside could be limited near this downside line taken from the high of the 1st of January. So that's why be very careful. In other words, what we're looking here for is something like this, basically, guys. So, um, yep, for now, uh, keep your eyes on this one. Keep your eyes on this barrier, the 0 0.6214, which is the high of the 31st of March. If we get a, um, a nice good push above it, then, yes, we will aim for further higher levels. In terms of the downside, uh, yes, of course, this level, the 0 0.6009, remains an important one for us. Uh, but also, we'll keep an eye on the, uh, the this low of the 3rd of April. Uh, or in other words the current lowest point of April if we get a which is around the 0 0.5980 zone if we get a drop below this then yes uh, this would confirm a forthcoming lower low and uh, yep further declines could be possible at least in the short run so we could then aim for these 0 0.57 this the 0 0.57 level or uh, the 0 0.5503 zone which is uh, the lowest point of March um, jumping into GBP JPY very quickly so here it's a very interesting uh, situation and let me just jump into a four hour chart so as you can see we're uh, sitting here nicely between these two levels um, roughly between the 134.32 and on the that's on the upside and on the downside 132 point 43 so approximately there so basically we need to see um, a nice good clear break um, through one of these uh, levels through one of these highlighted areas before we could consider uh, some uh, a further directional move so in a way if we get a break above this 134.32 zone and we also get a nice push above the 200 EMA here on the four hour chart then this could open the path towards higher levels in the next potential target for us is around the 137.20 so something to keep an eye on and uh, yep it will be quite interesting to see if it, if it actually can travel f uh, a little bit higher now again we can try to draw a um, a downside line here uh, so let me just take in from the high of the uh, 13th of December or in other words the highest point of December so this this is a bit of a tentative line but however we could keep an eye on it just for now um, but again we will consider a potential move closer to that line if we get a nice good uh, clean clean break here above the 134.32 and this 200 EMA on the four hour chart in terms of the downside pretty straightforward yes we need to wait for a drop below the 1.3243 zone and then we could aim for this little barrier here around the 129.79 zone so let's keep an eye on this one that's basically by marked by the low of the 25th of March USDCHF um, now here it's a uh, very interesting situation now the pair uh, drifted again back above this uh, this downside line taken from the high of the 29th of November and uh, in a way as you can see now it drifted higher found some resistance near this 0 0.9797 zone um, and uh, now it kind of drifted lower but still getting a hold up near this this downside line which currently is acting as a nice area of support so, um, in a way, for us, we're going to remain neutral here because it's a very tricky situation. Um, of course, uh, in a way, the, we would like to see if if we could if we could consider a potential move higher, then we would like to see a push up of the 0 0.9797 zone, and uh, which could open the path towards that highest point of March near the 0 0.99 zone. So this is this is the barrier after which we could, like I said, after a break of which we could consider the upside. 
downside, uh, but only up until the 0 0.99, uh, 0 0.99 zone. Um, in terms of the downside here, um, we would like to see a uh, drop below this little territory here, the low of the 24th of March, uh, which is around the 0 0.9716 area, um, and only then we could maybe consider a bit of downside. However, the little problem here is um, is this little upside support line, this tentative upside support line uh, taken from the low of the uh, 8th of March, or in other words, from the lowest point of March. So in that, in a way, if we do get a drop below this, then yes, uh, this could drift a little bit lower, and but could find support near this upside line. Um, that's why uh, the I the the preferred, the more cautious approach here would be somewhere from here, from around the 0 0.9653 mark. And uh, this way, uh, the the pair would be would not only be above, below um, all of its EMAs, but also uh, it could break this upside line. And yep, more and more sellers could see this as a good opportunity to drive this one towards the uh, the low of to March of 27th, uh, which is around the 0 0.9497 zone. So uh, yep, let me just quickly adjust this. There we go. So yep, around there, guys. So for now, uh, keep your eyes on these two barriers let me just quickly highlight those for our future reference because again uh, we cannot really do much here until we see a clear breakthrough of one of these uh, important levels for us so um, oh, let me just uh, copy this one very quickly guys so and this is as I said this is the uh, the hurdle the after which after a break of which we could uh, get a little bit more comfortable with with the downside now um, quick mentioning here of the euro uh, euro against our South African rand yesterday I talked about this one and uh, basically the pair uh, drifted a little bit higher but then found some resistance near the 20.91 zone roughly around there and reversed sharply to the downside. So uh, if I jump into a daily candle, a daily chart here, you can see the sharp reversal that we had here. So looking at this picture, yes, we, we are expecting maybe a bit of a, uh, uh, maybe a bit a little bit of a correction here to the upside and then maybe an, a move lower. And this is probably will be better seen on the, um, on this one on the four hour chart. So in a way it could drift a little bit higher here and then reverse towards this upside line. So for now that's what we're going to be aiming for for this upside line um, after that we'll take it from there um, oh by the way I mean you can see that the currently the pair is getting a hold up near the 21 EMA here on the four hour chart so this is what you could do you could keep an eye on this one if it continues to balance around this 21 EMA on the four hour chart or should I say if it continues to balance below it then yep we could see an, another round of selling here potentially driving this one towards this upside line so keep your eyes on this one could be quite interesting um, if you are interested in such uh, pairs uh, but uh, yep be very careful for those who are more on the cautious side you could just wait for a drop below the the lowest point of yesterday which is roughly around the 19.97 territory and a drop below this would confirm a forthcoming lower low and uh, yep we could drift further south so um, Jumping into Euro GBP now, uh, we haven't looked at this one for quite a while, and uh, to be honest, uh, let me just jump into a daily chart on this one. Um, so here, yep, the situation is like this. Basically, after uh, traveling higher here in the uh, around the mid March, uh, after hitting the 0 0.9499 zone, and by the way, just to show you where we have traveled to, um, let me just shift into a weekly chart, guys. So basically, um, if if you remember, uh, we had a nice rally here in um, in uh, in the in May 2019, basically, um, and uh, from here, basically, where the pair uh, where the pair took it, it took it took the pair around. Uh, well, from the beginning of May until the uh, around mid August, the pair was traveling higher from around 0.84 uh, to to basically 0 0.94 um, and here we saw just in a couple of weeks here it took here a few months but uh, if here the acceleration was insane I mean going from the mid-February till around mid-March just in one month uh, it did the, the even more than uh, than this basically it did even more than than this previous month move um, and actually let me just quickly mark that 
just as let's let's actually evaluate this very quickly so that's basically here it was a rise of around 10.66 percent uh, uh, whereas here from mid-february uh, until the um until the mid-march uh, the pair did around 14.70 percent so that was an insane move here i would say um, and now you can see that the pair found resistance near that 0 0.94 nice 90, almost zero near the 0 0.95 territory from which it reversed and drifted lower um, it, you can see that it already kind of had a sharp decline so basically this is i would say a very insane move um looking at this weekly chart you can see that it was we were still uh, we were shy of a few just points from hitting maybe just this 0 0.98 territory which is um is this the all-time high let me just quickly uh double check this um so basically as much as i have information here this is basically the all-time high the 0 0.98 zone so um you can see that the um, uh, you can see that the pair um uh, drifted here higher this is how the euro kind of strengthened again the british pound um and uh yep that's this is for now as much as i have information here that's the all-time high um uh but um, yep it just fell shy of a few kind of um a, a few hundred pips of reaching that area let's put it this way so in other in other words um now the uh let's get rid of this this actually let's this is a little bit in the way now the pair um, drifted lower but found support near this key area of support which previously acted as a good area of resistance around the 0 0.8727 zone so from which it kind of rebounded um, again it's a very tricky spot here because looking at this uh, looking at this picture here or this daily chart yes we could see maybe a bit more re re recovery however uh, this 21 day EMA here shown as the yellow line is a little bit in the way um, for us to probably get comfortable with the upside again on this chart um, we would like to see a pushback above the 0 0.89 and 95 zone here or in other words you can roughly round it towards the 0 0.90 zone uh, um, a nice good push above this this could yep open the door towards higher levels in terms of the downside pretty straightforward uh, we need to see a drop below this territory and then we could aim for uh, a few lower levels here so basically a drop below the 0 0.8727 and a drop below the uh, 200 EMA and the 100 EMA here shown as the black and green lines respectively um, then yes we could see this one drifting further south however for now guys uh, be very careful keep your eyes on this one uh, there are a bunch of uh, levels here I mean yes on one hand it is uh, re recovering a little bit but in order to aim for higher levels we'll take a very very conservative approach and wait for a push above the 0 0.8995 zone first and then aim for higher levels um, euro USD so finally here uh, the pair yesterday uh, closed in the red and uh, the most the most important is that this level here acted as a fantastic area of support again so this is what I talked about yesterday in my videos guys uh, if you want to have a look at those in my uh, yesterday's uh, recordings and uh, what I was talking about the 1.0777 if it continues to hold we could see a nice rebound um, and which is which happened and uh, the more important thing here right now is the fact that it's testing this downside level line so um, if we do get a break of this downside line of course we will get uh, we'll start considering the upside however to get a little bit more comfortable as I've mentioned previously uh, the 1.0888 level that's what we're looking here for and ideally we would like to see maybe a close at least of a four hour candle above this and then yep we could aim for for further upside uh be very careful if we if something like this happens be very careful near this territory near the 1.0552 because it, it could in a way coincide by the time this could travel higher this could coincide this level here could coincide with the 200 ema so basically this could provide a bit of re strong resistance um and uh then yes uh, we will be very careful because and see if the if the buyers are still strong then yep 
we could see this one drifting further north. Initially, we'll target the 1.10, 1.1037, and after that, we'll take it from there. Um, in terms of the downside, pretty straightforward. Here, the same idea remains. Uh, we need to see at least a four-hour candle close below this 1.0777, and then we could aim for for lower levels. Uh, we will then our main target will be the lowest point of of March, which is roughly around the 1.0633 mark. So, guys, I really hope you found it useful. Um, thank you very much for sticking around and watching until the end. If you want to join me uh, later on, or should I say, if you want to catch my video later on at my Traders Tea Time uh, around 13:15 GMT time, um, or a little bit after that, and uh, yep, we'll have a look at some of the, some of these instruments, some new ones, and we'll see how everything got along. So, but for now, I hope you guys stay safe, have a wonderful uh, trading day, and I'll see you later. Thank you very much, and bye bye.